So I'm playing a game where I need to collect resources. So I set up my civilization here. I can get lumber from the forest, water from the river, fish from the ocean. But I have a problem. I can't get gold. So I could trade with people that have gold, or I could send some people out to start a new town next to the gold so they could ship it back to me. Yeah, that's a ticket. I like that idea a lot. <laughs> The example from the beginning is pretty similar to what a lot of people have done throughout history. Take the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians were from Southwest Asia, around Mesopotamia, and they were huge traders around the Mediterranean seas. They set up colonies as far east as Spain. Their most famous colonies were Tyre and Carthage in Northern Africa. These colonies gave them control over a lot of areas around the Mediterranean Sea where they could trade and collect resources. The Greeks set up colonies as well. The land in Greece was not ideal for farming, so they sent people out to set up villages where they could farm and send that food back to their homeland. They would take a flame from the sacred fire of their city-state and carry it to the new colony to signify the ties between the colony and the original city-state. Now, usually when I mention colonies, the first thing that pops into people's heads is some song about the 13 original colonies. Fifty nifty United States from 13 original colonies which is, of course, referring to the British colonies that would eventually declare independence and become the United States of America. The King of Britain needed raw materials. For example, picture a ship. You know those huge masts on a ship? Those are usually a single tree. And because Britain had a huge navy, they had basically used all of their forests for this. So, what is a king to do? He sent people from Britain to the North American continent to collect these raw resources and ship them home to Britain. So as you can see, colonies are a very old idea. A good definition of a colony would be a country or area under some sort of control by another country, usually one that is far away. Hopefully this information will help you out, and if you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe.